Hey everyone, Trollbender here. Sorry, uh, got a little bit of cold, but I wanted to do this video. Saw a lot of videos on the 3080 copper mod, and since I have a 3070, I wanted to give that a shot. The guys at uh, CoolMyGPU.com sell these copper plates, and uh, I wanted to try one out. Um, see if I can get some cooler temperatures. I'm going to be doing a, a water cooling video in the future where I'm going to install a water cooling plate for my 3070. Here is the copper plate that I got in the mail. Came uh, stuck to this aluminum sheet. It says cut along the line. I'm not sure where I was supposed to cut, but I, uh, I didn't cut. Here's my lovely machine. I'm gonna be pulling out my EVGA 3070. Here's the gaping hole. And let's do this. All right. I'm gonna skip some of these parts since you really probably don't need to see me take apart uh, the, the vertical, where's that horizontal? I don't know. The cage that flips my video card. All right, we're gonna get to work. Just wanted to show you a little bit of the card here. It's got a nice back plate, I love you VGA. Um, probably going to speed this up. We don't need to watch me turn every single screw, but we'll start with the uh, GPU screws on the back. Get those a little bit loosened. You wanna do them in order. And let's speed this up, baby. Enjoy the music. Alright, you want to be careful when you take these apart that you don't break anything. It's kind of, you know, some of it's delicate. Alright, as you can see, my GPU, my copper cooler with thermal pads, some of them stuck to it. I will get into all the scratches later. But uh, here's my nice copper plate. You can see I missed, uh, missed the thermal paste by a good half inch, quarter inch there. It's still cool, it, it's fine, don't worry. So here's my GPU, everything looks good. It's been running great. I haven't had any problems, so hopefully we don't F this up. First thing we wanna do is remove all this thermal compound and uh, thermal pads. I use this uh, remover and purifier to get this off of here. See? Bloop. And then scrub, 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 scrub. Try to get as much as I can off of there. Some of this is actually um, permanent, and I'll explain that in a second here. All right, those scratches and that the the staining there, that's not thermal compound. That is what happens when you're an idiot and you use liquid metal. The liquid metal actually corroded onto there, created bubbles, and then when I tried to wipe it off, scratched the shit out of my copper cooler. So, don't use liquid metal on your GPU and copper cooler. All right, this is the tedious part, trying to get every little bit of the thermal pad off the memory modules. You wanna to try to get as much of this off as possible so they have nice, smooth, and clean, clear contact. There is a lot of goop and shit on here. I, I've, I've torn this card apart a few times, testing various uh, cooling solutions. So, in between all the little resistors, I'm gonna try to get some of that out of there. I don't, I don't think it's uh, conductive. Try to get that mirror finish. Some more remover on those modules. Some people use a toothbrush and alcohol to do this. Um, if it's really bad, then maybe, but I, that shit scares me. I would rather do, do it this way. At any rate, we're gonna keep uh, rinsing and repeating here until we at least get a halfway decent look. Let's do a little swoop in on the work area here with the black octagon. All right, here's what it looks like, as clean as I can get it right now. We want to uh, test out that copper fit here. Let's just get that bad boy out of here and slip her on. Eh.
Splash. All right, not a bad fit. A little bit of a tolerance in there. Looks good though. Now some of the other videos uh, with the 3080s, and I don't blame you, they use uh, Kapton tape in between the memory modules just in case you have any sort of um, potential short. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use some of the uh, thermal pad and cover up any resistors that I think uh, have a potential to be shorting out, but I don't think so. Um, I don't think there's enough voltage in these things for it to arc, but I could be wrong. I'm not an expert at uh, electricity. I've just been shocked. So, gonna go ahead and cover areas with uh, thermal pad that I think are danger areas, especially on those two memory modules at the, those two resistors at the bottom between the three memory modules. Those are my most concerning. So we'll cover those up best we can. This video is assuming that you're not an expert and you're not uh, super nimble and surgical like me. I mean, I, I'm an expert in IT, but uh, not this shit. So, do another fit, spin another spinny round. Now let's put on the goop. We got the MX4 as they recommend. I just happen to have a bunch, so I did not order that with the copper shim. All right, I'm gonna try to be a little bit, um, what's the opposite word of frugal? Google? No, I'm gonna put a decent amount of thermal paste on these memory modules. It, it doesn't look the greatest. I have some sort of tear in my plastic putty knife, so it's uh, making little grooves. But honestly, I think when the copper goes on that, those little grooves will push together and it, it's probably gonna create some sort of super optimal state. So maybe I'm onto something here. Liberal, that's what I'm gonna, I'm gonna be liberal. Right? Is it liberal with all this goop? This MX4? I don't know. All right, we've already put a bunch back on our copper scratch to hell. Do not use liquid metal cooler. Looks like we are about ready to uh, put the copper shim on here and then add goop on top of it. That heat sink compound. All right. This is where we need a crane. Indecisive as to how to drop it, where to drop it, where are we dropping it? Just drop it, guys. Oh, sideways. Uh, 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 okay. Not too bad of a drop. I mean, it's on there. Little pressure points. All right. Now we are going to just put some of this Arctic over the memory modules on the other side of the copper. That way we get a nice contact with my scratch to hell copper cooler. There you go. In the comments section, uh, go ahead and leave theories as to why I didn't put Arctic compound down at the bottom right there on the right of the copper. Whoever's right, I will give you 1,000 Shiba coin. Anyway, moment of truth to try to put this on here the first time, not smear it all around and fuck it all up. Pardon my pig Latin. Fay. Hit yay up yay. Mard K. All right, beep. Beep. Ah, look at that. First try. Perfect. Perfect. Now, flip this bad boy over. And look at that. The holes are nearly perfectly aligned. So, some time lapse here. Let's get these screws back in here. Wobble, wobble, wobble. I'll leave you with uh, some silence. Or theme music.
Now, like in other videos, you wanted to put these screws in um, in a round robin sort of fashion. You don't want to tighten one all the way down. This is sort of like putting on a tire. If you don't know how to change your tire, go learn. All right, couple spots on the back. I just need to uh, thermal pad up. And we'll squish this back plate back on there. Yeah, there's a spot there. All right. Let's get these screws in here. Get this puppy rolling. Now, the one thing about these cards, the 3070s do not have temperature sensors for the memory. So we, uh, we're mainly doing this just uh, to prepare for the water cooling. Obviously it's going to cool the memory based on other things. Well, let's give it a shot here. It's not turning on. Trying the master switch. Uh. We actually plugged the wrong power cable into the back. So now, party time! Woo! Look at them fans spin. Wow. Spinny, spinny, round and round. Fans that spin, they go right round. Whoa, psychedelic. So everything worked out great. Again, there's no uh, memory temp sensor on the RTX, but here are my before temperatures. Then my after temperatures, as you can see, the hot spot temperatures went down, the ambient temperatures, excuse me, the current temperatures, minimum temperatures, maximum. There's my fan curve, in case anyone wants to see it. We lost 15 degrees average. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe. Thanks again.